Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. This is part two of a two-part series covering my first wedding in the Philippines. If you haven't already, I would recommend going to the first part of the series, which is the journey, covering our travel from Los Baños to Pavigan, which is where this video starts off. In this video, we will complete our journey from Los Baños to Luang, which is the location of the wedding. We will meet more of my dad's side of the family. We're gonna laugh a lot and we're gonna make a lot of memories. I hope you enjoy. It was our last morning in Vegan and Tito Ivan and I went back to Atlas Gym to hit another 7 a.m. workout. After this, we went to Grandpa's Inn and Tito Ivan had one more story to tell. This is a headquarters. Of the, World War II. World War II. Of the Americans. Wow. Yeah. Sometime after like 30 or 40 years, those Americans who were stationed here returned in this, oh, this place. To stay. To stay. As a hotel. These are the two World War II soldiers who came back here in 1999. So they were stationed here in 1995. And then they came back in 1999. In 1999. Whoa. Like, that's wild. It's a true story. Yeah, it's a true story. <laughs> true story. Grandpa's. What time is checkout? Check out at 11. Let's leave at 11. After a short two hour car ride, we made it to our final destination, Lawag and Locos Norte. Let's give it a big one. Hello, everyone. I'm Jake. Oh. This is Uncle Ian. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. And Same I'm here. Jake. We're now here at Amici Resort, which is where we're going to stay for Friday night and Saturday night. Tomorrow's the wedding. We're going to check out the room that we're going to be staying in. Oh, I want to see the pool. You and Tito Ivan will stay here. We'll be staying here. Yeah. This is the room. There's two beds I'm going to be sharing with my Tito Ivan, my workout partner. <laughs> There's two beds here, two robes, there's a TV. I'll show you guys what the bathroom looks like. There's the bathroom, nothing too special, that's all you need. Funny mermaid, funny mermaid. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> took a swim, changed, took a shower, now we're headed to dinner. We're gathered here tonight to give honor. We will give witness to the wedding tomorrow, Bernie and Enze. dinner was about 10 p.m. and I thought I was just gonna go back to my room and go to bed. I ran into some of my family in between all of the villas in the resort. We ended up playing some games. The game we played is basically a combination of charades and telephone. The first person is given the name of something that they have to act out silently for the next person. The message sometimes changes throughout the game. Personally, one of my favorite parts so far on the channel. Your success non-leader is from the actor at the back. Trabajo, huh? No, trabajo. That's good, that's good. Baby maker. Baby maker. Baby maker. Ready? Oh, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! Come on, Oh, 
the 50 shades of grey. Matching. Okay. <laughs> the word that constantly rings in my head when I witness a wedding. I think about love that I had in the past, not just romance, but friends too. Friends that came and went, I want them to stay. 
The girl who broke my heart, I want her to stay. The girl that I truly didn't love and I broke her heart, I want her to stay too. And to the girl that I truly loved but wasn't ready, I definitely wanted her to stay. Even with these thoughts and longing for presence of people who came and left in my life, I will say that the thought of forever does scare me. That's why I'm in awe every time I witness a wedding because I can see how brave the two people are for taking on that journey. People come and go, and that's okay, but some people are worth holding on to. Even if it's hard to hold on now, it's harder to bring someone back.